The following program is produced in conjunction with Madison County Schools and Time Warner Cable. Twenty four hours, seven days a week, twenty four seven, Madison County School Sports dot com. Thanks to our great sponsors, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Gobo in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Renfro's Paint and Collision in Richmond and Berea, Eastside Community Church, Richmond, Premier Home Care and Premier Rehab, Guardian Bank, Hopper's Jewelry, Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, Richmond, WKYT.com, Berea Online, Richmond Tourism, and the Richmond Chamber of Commerce. Renfro's Collision, the only body shop with two Madison County locations, is here to serve you. At Renfro's Collision, you can look forward to the best possible repair experience. We have the latest tools, training, equipment, and technology. We have what others don't have. Why take the risk with someone else? Contact us at 369-4111 for a completely free estimate. It's your car, it's your choice. Don't let an insurance company tell you otherwise. Renfro's Paint and Collision. I want you to watch Madison County School Sports Television. Hello everyone, welcome back to Madison County School Sports Television for another exciting game by the Madison Southern Eagles as they match up tonight against the East Jessamine Jaguars. My name is Donald Foster and we expect a very competitive game tonight from the 11th region, Madison Southern 12th region, top ranked team in 12th region, East Jessamine High School. East enters the game at, with a record of 15 and 6, riding a three game winning streak. Southern is 11 and 6, winners of four out of their last five. These two teams have matched up once before on December 22nd in a championship game of the People's Bank Classic played up here at Madison Southern High School, with Madison Southern losing by three. Coach Butchery is looking to avenge this loss tonight against a very good East Jessamine team who has gotten better as season has gone on. Starting lineups have been announced. And starting for the Indians are, for the Indians, for the Southern Eagles are number five, Damian Harris, 14, Mike Rothamel, 23, Tyler Absher, 42, Spencer Stone and 44 Drew Taylor Headshakes have been handed out we're getting ready to tip this game off tip is controlled by the 
by the Eagles. Tyler was able to track it down for going out of bounds. And East Jessman opens in a man to man. Looking to see what kind of offense the Eagles can get against this man to man tonight. After drives to the plane, shoots up a floater, no good. Rebound comes down to East, looking to run. Jacks up a three, it's off. Harris with the rebound, going the other way. Looking to take it in. Nice hand stripped the ball away. Controlled by the Eagles. And knocked out of bounds. Stays with Madison Southern. Damien had a good job driving to the lane. Thought he had a layup. Very good job by the defensive player to knock it loose. Southern st what East stays in her man to man and Southern looking to run a little screen to get a three off. They do. As Rothamel hits a long distance three. Give the Eagles a three nothing lead with seven minutes to go in the first quarter of play. Southern now in a little matchup two three. As number 12 finds the open spot. Senior Mike Jones with the three pointer. Ties the ball game up. Little screen down low for Mike to get up top. Now over to, looking to get it to Tyler. Good defensive work on the opposite side. Damien takes it into the lane, strong. Misses the layup, comes down with his own rebound. Misses another layup. East gets the ball, looks to run. No call, turnover for East Jessman. After with the steal. So he takes it to the paint, almost loses it. That's save from 44, Taylor. Looking to run Tyler off to the wing for the shot. They run double team at Tyler. He's able to find Rothamel. Shot is off. And knocked out of bounds by Madison Southern. Belongs to East. It said East Jessman out of the 12th region comes in with a record of 15 and 6. Between them and West Jess, one of them two teams are expected to come out of that region. Southern plays West Jess in a week or so. I believe it is at West Jess. Number 12 with the rebound underneath. So he gets bailed out on that call. I don't know what Damien did to draw the foul. Looked like he had all ball to me. Shot laid on the rim for a minute and falls through. For number 12, that's Mike Jones. He has all four points so far for the Jaguars. Second shot is up and it's off the back iron. Down to Stone. 4-3, Southern on, or East Jess on top. 5-20 to go in the opening quarter. They run a little double team on Tyler down low. You can tell from the first game they played, they're not gonna let Apsher beat them tonight. So it's important for the rest of the guys to step up, knock down some shots, to loosen up that defense against Tyler. So there's sticks in a zone. Got a high pick. Bottom of the zone is going to have to rotate out to get on that shooter in the corner. Can't allow anybody to shoot an open shot. Looks like practice when you do that. Steps called. Spencer Stone called for the travel. Shuffled his feet on that play with a little pressure given to him. 7-3. East Jess on top. 4-47 to go. Looking back in the corner. He suggests recess their offense. It's a little three out, two in offense. As it goes to the corner, he's gonna run back out to the wing. Nice take by number three. Got in there, didn't know what to do with it once he got down, but he got bailed out, found an open teammate. 
for the basket. Nice drive and take by Upshur. We have a delay of game warning. Delay of game called against number five for the Eagles. First warning. <clears throat> Damien needs to leave the ball out of bank. Leave it alone when he hits the shot. When the shot goes through, just leave it alone. The second one will be a technical foul if they have to call one again. That's nice drive. Tyler slid over, just didn't get over in time to draw the charge. Comes a four court man now. A little token pressure to show Massive Southern that they will go man to man full court if they need to. Because they go to a man to man defense now. Rothmel with a drive and a floater in the lane just short. Good job to knock it back. The ball was tipped, really no worry about it being a backcourt violation. But they save it, get to Tyler Amster for the three. Cuts the lead now to 11 to eight. 324 to go. Ball down low, working against Dapster. They kick it out for the three. There's off no good. Long rebound down to number three. Carson. Ronnie Carson, a sophomore guard with the offensive rebound and the putback. Looking to get it to Rothmel, they do. Rothmel to Stone, almost taken away, but he was able to hold on. Appears we're going to have an offensive foul call against Spencer Stone, his first. Twenty-four. Trevor Huff checks into the ball game, along with number four, Marlon Taylor. East was looking to back door on that play. Good job by the Eagles to read it and not allow it to happen. Tyler working some tight man to man up top. Again, no one gets out on the three-point shooter. He drills it. Bradshaw. Timmy Brashaw with a three. 32 is their best player. They played West Jess the other night. They got beat handily, but Timmy Brashaw did all he could do to keep him in the ball game. Huff. Huff with the knife offensive rebound and put back. Brings the lead down to 16 to 10. Pretty jump stop there by number 10, Taylor Harper inside the lane. Contested shot. And the ball was blown to Massive Southern. Pairs are going to show a little token man to man defense, just pressured the inbounds. In the game of Jaguar, number two, Sanders replaces Carson. As they now drop back into a half court man to man defense. They get the ball into 14. Mike Rothamel, he's going to run the point. Looking to get down low, and East have none of that. Apture out for the three. Shot is just off. Nice hustle and effort from number 44, Drew Taylor, trying to save that ball. But he goes out of bounds before he can do it. Ball belongs to East. Jessamyn. Minute and a half to go, first quarter, 16 to 10. Southern Trails. Couple of high screens up high in a back door. Layup. That's about two or three times they've run that play. Southern's gonna have to recognize when it comes and jump those screens. Not to allow that to happen. But on the same token though, these Jets gonna have to realize they're gonna run the three-pointer shooter out. And they need to jump those screens. A foul on Neath. It's going to be East Jessman's first foul of the game. Nearly seven minutes and they've committed their first foul. As we took it down to less than a minute to go, it's still 18 to 13 now. Rothamel with his second three of the game. 
Makes it an 18-13 ball game. As the Southern defense now showing a little 2-2-1 half court look. Looking to trap when it comes through. As it is, they couldn't get the trap on, but five's off. Nice putback. Ball would belong to Masses Southern. Not so sure that ball may not have went off a white, guy, white jersey, but as it stands, it is Southern ball. 33 seconds. Southern looking to get a basket to trim its lead down even closer. Looks like they may be setting up for the last shot as Tyler just dribbles up top. I expect Tyler to cut to the wing for a three, but I was wrong. Huff off the bench with a three. Long shot three, no good. That's the end of the first quarter. End of the one. East Jessman 18, Madison Southern 16. Very exciting quarter of play. We'll be back for quarter number two after this short timeout. Thanks to our great sponsors, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Gobel in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Renfro's Paint and Collision in Richmond and Berea, Eastside Community Church, Richmond, Premier Home Care and Premier Rehab, Guardian Bank, Hopper's Jewelry, Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, Richmond, WKYT.com, Berea Online, Richmond Tourism, and the Richmond Chamber of Commerce. Jazzercise Richmond Fitness Center is a proud sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television. I want you to watch Madison County School Sports Television. Premier Rehab specializes in orthopedic physical therapy for pain and injuries from sports, work, and automobile accidents. And they specialize in rehabilitation following orthopedic surgery including the shoulder, knee, ankle, and spine. And they provide expert personalized care that produces outstanding results. All therapists have a minimum of 10 years experience. Premier Rehab is the only locally owned rehabilitation agency in Richmond. And in 2012, the people of Madison County voted Premier Rehab as the best outpatient physical therapy clinic in Madison County. So when you need physical therapy, it's always your choice where you go for therapy. Choose a local company staffed with hometown professionals. Choose Premier Rehab, located at 370 Highland Park Drive, Suite 1. Premier Rehab Services. Twenty-four hours, seven days a week, twenty-four-seven. Madison County School Sports. Com. Come back to play for quarter number two. Madison Southern East Jessman East leads it 18 to 16, and they will be inbounding. Oh, the basketball, the we have a scoreboard difficulty, so forgive me when I don't give time and score. Luckily, there's no shot clock, so we have nothing to worry about on that part. Whoa. 
He makes that announcement, the refs blow the whistle. We can play without a scoreboard. That's what the official book is for. So we've got a little break in the action. I'll give you some scoring breakdown. 14, Mike Rothmel has six points. After has five. And 24, Trevor Huff has five coming off the bench. And that adds up to 16, and that's what the score is, 18 to 16. Proud of myself, I can count that high. That massive central learning right there. We have a scoreboard back. We inbound the ball now. Clean game so far. Southern's committed two fouls. East Jess committed one. Still East Jess ball. They get it in. And Southern plays that man to man. Nice take and drive. Nice rebound by Epsher. He just a little high on that play for number four. Marlon Taylor is not that big here to take a have a pass. He drives against Taylor and a kick out. Gets his feet set and hits the side of the backboard. Looks like one of my old shots. Nice drive and take by 44. Nice take by Taylor. No call. Now we call the trip. So wave the three off. We have a foul before the three-point shot. Number four, Taylor, his first Marlon Taylor gets whistled with the foul. Assist first, team third. So the way that foul worked out, we got lucky. Instead of getting three points, they're going to get the ball underneath the basket. The box play, cut it. Nobody, somebody fell asleep on the opposite side for the easy layup. A lot of pushing down low with Stone. Now they converge on him deep. We have an ankle injury. You got to blow that whistle, guys. He's hurt bad. We have an injury on the floor. We'll take a timeout. Or are we going to stay here? We'll stay here. Score is 22 to 16, 6.44 to go. I believe what happened was, well, he was backpedaling. The guy's foot tri uh, tripped up on Nathan and just came down on it. If you're at a sprained ankle, real bad sprained ankle, you know how bad that can feel. Premier Rehab specializes in orthopedic physical therapy for pain and injuries from sports, work, and automobile accidents. And they specialize in rehabilitation following orthopedic surgery including the shoulder, knee, ankle, and spine. And they provide expert personalized care that produces outstanding results. All therapists have a minimum of 10 years experience. Premier Rehab is the only locally owned rehabilitation agency in Richmond. And in 2012, the people of Madison County voted Premier Rehab as the best outpatient physical therapy clinic in Madison County. So when you need physical therapy, it's always your choice where you go for therapy. Choose a local company staffed with hometown professionals. Choose Premier Rehab, located at 370 Highland Park Drive, Suite 1. Premier Rehab Services. Renfro's Collision, the only body shop with two Madison County locations, is here to serve you. At Renfro's Collision, you can look forward to the best possible repair experience. We have the latest tools, training, equipment, and technology. We have what others don't have. Why take the risk with someone else? 
Contact us at 369-4111 for a completely free estimate. It's your car, it's your choice. Don't let an insurance company tell you otherwise. Renfro's Paint and Collision. We come back to play after the injury timeout. 24 Trevor Huff was helped off the floor. Hopeless, nothing more than a sprained ankle. So we get back to play. Southern will inbound the ball, bring it up the floor. 642 left to play. It's 22 to 16. East Jess on top. Rothamel run over top of the double screen for the three. He came up just a tad bit short. So it will go out of bounds over to East. Anytime you have a timeout for anything other than the official timeout, it takes a couple of plays to get back into the flow of the game. So now we're playing a little 1 2 2, a little 3 2 zone. We have to see if they trap out of it. Again, gets it to the corner to three points. Three point basket by Harper. Stretches lead out 25 16. A lot of hand check on that play, and they finally do whistle it. Carson, Ronnie Carson whistle for the foul. He made a little show after that play, and the official walks over and tells him, you know, let's not do that again. Central Southern inbounds the ball, misses the layup. Number four, Marlon Taylor does a little tumble row. Nice offensive take there. Offensive charge drawn by number five, Damian Harris. Team foul number three on East Jess. Neither team is in foul trouble. Not even close to the bonus yet, so. If Apter brings up the floor. Gets it inside to 44. And Drew Taylor with the basket. Southern scores in the second quarter finally. Pressure defense been shown by Marlon Taylor as he forces a 10 second call. Good defensive effort to force a 10 second call. That's the Southern looking to run to the middle lane. Kicks it out to Harris. Over to Mike. Rothamill for three. Just off. Rebound comes down to East, and he wants to run it. Looking to drive on Tyler one-on-one. -on -one. Taken away by Rothamill. After behind the back. Drive it to the lane. Floaters. Floaters taken away. We get a timeout call. Timeout call by East Jessman. Timeout. Jaguars, a 30 second timeout. A 30 second timeout. We'll keep it here. <laughs> East Jessman's wanting to speed this game up a little bit more. It's 25 to 18. They're looking to get the rebound now and go. They're wanting to run and kick it out for the three point shot. Southern doing a good job. A decent job of playing some zone defense. Just going to have to make sure to get out on the shooter. As we come back to play, it's going to be East Ball on the, th the opposite basket. And Southern sets up in a 1 2 2 press. Looking to throw the home run over top, and they do. Mike Rothamel looked like a Kentucky defensive back on that play. So he gets burnt for the touchdown. Southern gets it back down floor quickly. And Tyler to the lane. Had the ball blocked, taken away from him. As the ball is off, number 12, 
quick hands there by, I believe it was number four. I believe it was Marlon Taylor who forced that turnover. So they get the ball back now, looking to score again. Fowler up top for the three. Shot was off. Here comes East looking to run it again. They do, and they score. 29-18 now. East just on top. Got a handoff to Rothamel, looking to drive. Here comes Damien down to the low block. They're playing front on it. They're getting physical down there with Damien. No call. Tyler drives, just can't find it tonight. After having a hard time in this first half finding a shot. Southern drops back now to a more of a man-to-man -man look. They're looking to get it down low. They do. Gets Damien one-on-one. Shot was no good. Nice rebound by Asker. He gets it and looks to go. Over to Rothmel, sets his feet, puts up to three. Look good, just a little off. Southern players want it to walk. No call. Looking to drive. Over in the corner once again. Nice rebound by Taylor. Skying through to bring that one down. A little hot to handle as Southern can't handle that one, turns it over. Sub coming into the game for Southern. Number 34, Donald Brandenburg into the ball game. So into the game is number 12, Tanner Kidwell. Down to 2.45 to play in the opening half. Southern will stand a man to man. Look at a trout. Trout came to the wrong side. Rebound by Kidwell. She loses it on the floor, but keeps battling. Only a jump ball call. Ball still belongs to Madison Southern. Kidwell is going to run the point now. Southern needs to find a way to score in this quarter. Kidwell killed his dribble up a little high. Hands it off to Hampshire. Kidwell now takes it to the paint. Kicks it out for three. Shot was short. Rebound down, down to Cameron Reed for East. Nice bullet pass underneath. Foul was going to be on 23 after. He, he didn't get back in time to block his man out. The foul was on number 23 after his first team score. When he did, he came back and he committed the foul. It's only team foul number four against the Eagles. And it puts number five. Hayden Smith, a sophomore at the line for East Jessman for two. He gets the first. East has opened the lead up to 31 to 18. Second quarter dry spell for the Eagles. They cannot find the basket. Nice drive and take by 34, just a little hard off the backboard. Since the last time Southern seen the East Jasmine, they have gotten a little bit better, as most teams do as the season goes along. Three. Timmy Bradshaw, their big man, shoots another three and hits it. Nothing but net. We had an injury time out there. Whistle on Neath. Foul is on number five, Smith. That's his first, three, four. 
It'll be a foul on East underneath. Just your fourth team foul. Neither team is close to the bonus as of yet. The box play looks get it up top. Somebody's got to break open. Rothmill into the lane for the basket. Cuts it to 34 to 20. Southern needs to get this lead to less than 10 before the half. Floor is getting slick as that's a turnover. Thought about jacking the three, did not. Gets it over to Mike, thought about it, did not. Drives to the basket and drew the foul. That's, that's take by Mike Rothmel there to draw the foul. I'm sorry, that's Tanner Kidwill. Kidwill. Shot is off. Forty-four seconds remain the first half place, thirty-four to twenty. Southern Trellin. Shot is up and good for Kidwill. Full court man here is shown from the Eagles. As here comes the trout. They get it on Neath. Turnover, just about a turnover. Find 32 on the, on the wing if you have to. 27 seconds left. They get it down low and it's knocked out of bounds off number 32. Off Bradshaw, belongs to Massa Southern. Thirty-two. Jake Napier checks into the ball game for Madison Southern. Nineteen seconds remain. Opening half. Thirty-four. Twenty-one. Down to ten. Eight. Not finding a good look. They like. It's down to three. Put up a three. No good. Rothmel with a long three. No good. Poor possession there by the Eagles. At the half, 34 to 21. East Jessman leads. That second quarter was brutal for the Eagles. Hopefully they're out of that little funk. All right, coach, really quick, first quarter, really close. Tell us your thoughts, what happened differently in the second quarter? Well, we're having trouble guarding them. Uh, we go man, they penetrate on us, we go zone. They're hitting threes. I mean, we, we can't figure out what we're going to do, so we're probably just going to turn it up full court and start pressing and take our chances and try to get back in the game because we're having trouble scoring in the half court. And uh, we're just going to, have to make it a full court game. Try to get uh, increase our opportunities to score some. Okay. Any report on your player, injured player, uh, huh? They're probably going to x-ray him. He said it could be broke. Uh, it's pretty bad. He, he, he twisted it when he did. He said his ankle hit the floor. So he, he rolled it pretty hard. Okay. Well, good luck tonight, Coach. All right. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. Oh, that is just the cutest thing. Whether you're going out of town on business, spring break, vacation, or just to get away, Luxury Pet Service is a phone call away. Luxury Pet Service is owned and operated by LaDonna Sizemore White Camp. You'll be secure in knowing your pet will be taken care of by highly trained and loving professionals. Luxury Pet Services also has grooming services and extraordinary daycare service too. Our mission at Luxury Pet Services is to care for your pet in a safe and friendly environment where dogs have fun. When you leave your dog with us, it's like leaving a member of your family, and that is a responsibility we take seriously. Luxury Pet Services is located about three minutes from Richmond Center. Visit our website or Facebook us. Luxury Pet Services, the home for happy dogs. Celebrate the holidays through the end of January 2013 at Davenport Custom Guitars, 807 East Main Street in Richmond. Pick up your strings, pedals, straps, picks, and more. Better yet, let Davenport Custom Guitars custom build your next Telecaster or Stratocaster. Need repairs? 
How about refins? They do that too. Need aged guitar parts? Well, they have them too. Introducing Sickline Aged Guitar Parts at Davenport Custom Guitars. Celebrate the holidays through the end of January 2013 at Davenport Custom Guitars, 807 East Main Street in Richmond. Hi, I'm Samantha Burford, and I'm here to talk to you about Hopper's Jewelry. You may have noticed some of the beautiful jewelry that I was wearing tonight during my coach's interview at halftime. Well, it's all from Hopper's Jewelry. My necklace, ring, earrings, and listen, don't miss out on my bracelets. It's all from Hopper's Jewelry here in Richmond. They are getting ready for Valentine's Day. So if you love any of the jewelry you've seen me tonight wearing, go to Hopper's Jewelry. They're on the bypass right there behind Chase Bank. You know, fans, when we were uh, actually doing a ball game, Randy and I talked a lot of times about how important rebounding, turnovers, and free throw shooting, how important those three things are. And uh, what we thought we'd do today is show you the free throw shooting part is really important. We always say on the, on the air, free throws, you got to make them. Why? Because they're free. They're free. <laughs> so they named them that for a reason. So we're going to do a little uh, free throw shooting competition, best out of five between Randy and I. And we'll just show you how easy free throws are to make. As you can see, Randy, they are free. What's so hard about free throws? Come on, boys and girls, hit your free throws. You'll win the game. Thanks to our great sponsors. Thanks to our great sponsors, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Gobo in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Renfro's Paint and Collision in Richmond and Berea, Eastside Community Church, Richmond, Premier Home Care and Premier Rehab, Guardian Bank, Hopper's Jewelry, Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, Richmond, WKYT.com, Berea Online, Richmond Tourism, and the Richmond Chamber of Commerce. Back for the second half of action. East Jess on top, 34-21, is they're gonna inbound the ball. Nice little give and go there. Nice recovery by Southern to stop it. Scoring breakdown in the first half real quick from Madison Southern. Mike Rothamel had an eight. Tyler after a five. Have a foul called. It's gonna be Tyler second. 44, Drew Taylor had two points first half. 24, Trevor Huff had five before his injury. And Tanner Kidwell had one free throw. Aperture commits to foul and puts number five at the line. That's Hayden Smith as he hits both. 
extends this lead out to 36-21. Southern has some good looks at the basket in the second quarter, just couldn't get any to fall. Hopefully switching sides of the floor will help. As East Chess was able to burn it up down on this end, hopefully they left the good shooting on this side. Shot was off and comes East Chess looking to run again. Ball is out of bounds, should be Southern. They're gonna leave it here with the East. They'll complain it from Coach Buckery, so must have been off of a Mass Southern player. Nice job by Rothmel to read the steal. He just lost it going up for the layup. Nice defensive effort, forced turnover. Just couldn't hold on to it. Shot in the corner. It's good. Three points by this East Jess team has come out shooting very hot tonight on a cold nine here in Berea. They're warming it up on the floor. It is now 39-21. Southern remains as cold as the temperature outside. Drew Taylor with a couple of shots there, couldn't get any to fall. Ball remains with Madison Southern. Harris gets it in to Rothamel. Up top to Tyler, almost stolen away, able to hold it to the lane for the easy basket. A little pressure defense shown by the Eagles now. Trying to speed up this East offense, commit the turnover. It's a job by Damien to step in the way and force the turnover. Tyler just telegraphed that one too far out. He drives and draws the foul. Foul is on 14. That should be his first. Team second of the half. Shot is up and it's in. Forty twenty-three with six oh six to go in the third quarter. That one is off a nice rebound by Taylor. Southern is getting some good looks at the basket, just cannot get anything to fall right now. Rothamill with a three, just short. Follows his miss. Get on the floor after the ball. Nice hustle to regain control of it. Damien underneath the basket could not see him. Pretty take by 44. Drew Taylor with his fourth point of the ball game. Taylor showing the pressure now as a little trap comes in the backcourt. He's able to get away from it. As he drives it down. And as Stone stepped up to meet the ball, no one fell back to cover his offensive player for the layup. Aperture with a three off the back iron, no good. Another take and drive, a little hard. As Rothmel goes up for the offensive rebound and will draw the foul. The foul is on number three, Carson. That's his third. It's going the first foul against East Jessman in the second half. Forty-five twenty-five. East on top, four fifty-five to go. Sapcher brings it up over half court. Rothamel just just off. Cannot get the shots to fall tonight. Stone with the rebound. Should draw the foul. He does. Stone will be at the line for two. Nice effort not to give up on that ball. We will have Spencer Stone at the line for two shots. Jack 
Spencer has his first point of the ball game. Second shot rolls off. Comes a trapping defense. Nice steal from Rothmel in the middle of the lane. He's going to drive it down for the layup. It's no good. Rebound by Harris, no good. Damien drew the foul. The foul is on number two, Sanders. That's his second, team's third. That's Southern getting good looks, just can't get him to drop right now. First shot is up, off the back iron. Second shot is up and good. Harris's first point of the ball game. Now we got a little trap. So they break it loose. Almost a 10 second violation, but they were able to cross. Shot was up, no good. Rebounded by Apsher. Takes it into the lane for the floater. Floater is good. His 10th point of the ball game. Southern cuts the lead now, 42-29. Nice quick hands by Damien to knock the ball loose. Out of bounds though off Harris. It remains with East. Gotta be on the lookout for the touchdown pass again. They just get the ball in. Double team in the backcourt, they were able to get it across. No foul. Ball on East. Rebound comes back down to East. Both teams looking to catch your breath right now after that quick F hustle play. We have a foul call on Madison Southern. The foul on number 42, Stone. That's his second team's third. Second foul on Spencer Stone. Bradshaw. It's Timmy Bradshaw at the line for two shots. Bradshaw hits the first. We have a timeout on the floor. Come out by the Mass Southern Eagles. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll take it with them. 314 to go into third quarter, 43-29. He's just on top. We'll be back. Thanks to our great sponsors, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Gobel in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Renfro's Paint and Collision in Richmond and Berea, Eastside Community Church, Richmond, Premier Home Care and Premier Rehab, Guardian Bank, Hopper's Jewelry, Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, Richmond, WKYT.com, Berea Online, Richmond Tourism, and the Richmond Chamber of Commerce. Premier Home Care in Richmond is a proud sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television. Premier Home Care has all the sports orthotics you need for any sports injury. Be sure to check out our retail location for all your sports orthotics. Premier Home Care in Richmond. There's no place like home to heal. Premier Home Care. Premier Home Care. Hey everybody, be a friend of Madison County School Sports Television on Facebook, MCS TV on Facebook. Log on and like us now.
We come back to action in the third quarter. 3.14 remain. Be shooting one more free throw. For Bradshaw. Earlier tonight, this twin bill at Madison Southern, the Lady Eagles beat East Jessman for a victory. Congratulations, Coach Simmons and her team on the victory. She hits the second. And it's now 44 29. Capture over to Rothmail for the three. Just off. You have the night sometimes when you can't hit the basket, and then other nights when the basket looks like it's 10 feet wide. Looking to get it down low, a little back door action. Southern plays that man to man. Good defensive effort by the Eagles right now as they continue to run the same play. Looking to get the back door, and they do. And he misses. Rebound comes down to 44, Taylor. She brings it up to the floor. After with the drive, nice take. And just one of those nights, can't get it to fall. Shot off the back iron. No foul call on the play as it was incidental, incidental contact. Ball is out of bounds off number five, Harris. Going man to man on the out of bounds. Just about traveled on that call, didn't, no call. A box play set up. Screen over top, looking for the three, not there. Foul's going to be on 42, Stone be his third. The foul is on number 42, Stone. That's his third. Team fourth of the half. Stone has three fouls now. He's the only Eagle with some foul difficulty. Nice hands by Harris to knock it away. So he takes and looking to run with it. He does. Drives it all the way down. Couldn't get the shot to fall, but does draw the foul. Very nice hands by Damien down there to knock the ball loose. Forty-four twenty-nine. And the scoring struggles continue for the Eagles. That free throw is off, no good. Looks like a shot is up. It is good. Oh, man defense been shown here from the Eagles. As he is out of bounds when he caught the ball. Turnover East Jess. May be the spark the Eagles need to get back into this ball game. Tower up top. They get it to him. Minute five remain third quarter of play. Damien has it working one-on-one. -on -one. Off the backboard, no good. Rothmo with the offensive attempt, no good. Down to 45 seconds. Looking to drive one-on-one, -on -one, kicks it. And they hit the floater in the lane. 
Down to 32 now for the Eagles. See what they can do with the ball. After over to Mike. Rothamel for three, just off. Rebound comes down to East. Looking to run with it. Plenty of time. 20 seconds to go. Underneath the basket, layup. Now we're down to 12 seconds. This third quarter has been disastrous for the Eagles. They just can't get anything to fall. As that's the end of the third quarter, it's 48 to 30. East Jess will be on top. We'll be back for the fourth quarter of play after this commercial break. Make the most of your trip to the Red River Gorge in Kentucky with scenic cabin rentals or delight in the mountainside beauty of the Daniel Boone National Forest. Whether you are planning a long vacation or just looking for a few days away from it all, check out sceniccabin.com. Our rental cabins and lodge are located close to the Red River Gorge and Natural Bridge Resort State Park. Family reunions, corporate retreats, weddings, and other large groups are very welcome. Cabins are available for small groups of two to six or large groups up to 15. All of our cabins Cabins are modern with city water, satellite TV, paved roads, full-service kitchens, modern bathrooms and showers, decks, grills, and outdoor fire pits. Many have hot tubs and game rooms or gaming tables like pool or ping pong, foosball, and air hockey. A few have internet. Visit sceniccabin.com online or check us out on our Facebook page. Sceniccabin.com. Shouldn't you start planning that relaxing mountain getaway now? Renfro's Collision, the only body shop with two Madison County locations, is here to serve you. At Renfro's Collision, you can look forward to the best possible repair experience. We have the latest tools, training, equipment, and technology. We have what others don't have. Why take the risk with someone else? Contact us at 369-4111 for a completely free estimate. It's your car, it's your choice. Don't let an insurance company tell you otherwise. Renfro's Paint and Collision. I want you to watch Madison County School Sports Television. Come back to the fourth quarter of play. 48-30, East Jess on top. It's going to be Madison Southern basketball to begin the quarter of play. Southern's had some nice looks at the basket, just couldn't get anything to drop tonight so far. It's an 18-point deficit, but I've seen crazier stuff happen in the game of basketball. That's only six possessions if you really want to look at it. And after it drives up to the lane for two. All you gotta do is play some solid defense now and get some shots to drop and you're right back into this ball game. Looking to hand the ball off. Nice pressure defense on the wings. Is that not a five second call yet? Don't know how it isn't. As it stands, he still has the ball. As they go back door once again, seems to be their bread and butter play as their back door. If I was on Marlon Taylor, it would be his second foul, team fifth of the half. 
They look to inbound the ball. They kick it out, wide open three look, and it falls for West Jess, East Chessman. It's one of those nights when Southern has gone cold and East Jess has warmed up. That's take by Absher, he draws to foul. It's going to be East Jessman's fifth foul of the half. They get that ball inbounds to Kidwell. He drives it, takes it, and they're going to call the offensive charge. Offensive charge called against Kidwell on that play. Wipe, wipe away the basket. Team fouls six on the Eagles, so from here on out, East Jess will be at the line for the bonus. Four court man defense shown by the Eagles. They were barely able to beat the 10 second count. Knocked away by number five Harris. But out of bounds belongs with East Jess. They get ready to inbound the play. Close to a travel call, no call. Working on a one four low against Apsher up top. So he takes and drives. Takes it to the basket and scores. 53-32, East Jess now on top. It's been one of those games when as we said, they've had a hard time shooting, but you also lost one of your players tonight, 24 Huff, to an ankle injury. Hopefully it's not as bad as what the initial reports state. Then at the half, we did have an emotional presentation with one of our players, 35 Stacy's Burns' mother. Had a little donation taken up for them as they're battling cancer. Thoughts and prayers are with them. Take it down to six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. 53-32. This team's doing a very good job of driving and kicking. And when the Southern defense collapses, no one, they don't recover fast enough to get back out on a shooter. Totally different team than what we saw a few weeks ago when we played them the first time. Jake Dapier with the basket, and he drew the foul, fit the line for the old three-point shot. That's team foul number six on East. Here on out, Southern will be shooting the bonus. Shot is up and it's good. So they're showing that man-to-man -man defense, full court. Now it bounces. Now it drops back into the half court, man. Working up top against Taylor. Looking to get down low. Basket falls. East Jessman just cannot miss tonight. Everything they throw up seems to find the bottom of the net. Apture for three, and it's good. Perhaps that is the one that will wake up the Southern offense. 58-38, 4.48 to go in the fourth quarter. Again, everything they put up seems to fall. Shot from the elbow is good. That's drive and take. Short, out of bounds, over to East. Please, 
And the full court man to man there. If we drop back, drop it back down to man defense. Shot is up, and for once it does not fall. Rebound at Madison Southern. After drives, kicks. Rainbow three, no good from Kidwell. Nice stay from Napier. But he saved it to an East Jessman player as they get it down the floor quickly. Napier with the foul. The that was a three-point shooter, the Cardinal Sin in basketball. We'll have Bradshaw to the line for three. Hits the first. Second one is up. It is good. Enter the game for Madison Central. Madison Southern is number 20, Devontae Linville. He nails all three free throws. Make it a 63 to 38 ball game. Doesn't matter what team you are, you could be the LA Lakers. You're gonna hit a you're gonna finally run into a team that is so hot they just can't miss. That's what Southern has done tonight as East Chessman has just been on fire. After the basket cuts it to 23, three and a half to go. They're gonna run the back door again. East Jess runs that very effectively. You know, after one or two, you think Southern would get used to it and be able to stop it, but they run, they've run they run that all night successfully. Three twenty to go now. After with a drive in the lane, a little hard off the backboard, no good. Stolen away from by 20, Linville, he puts it up no good, but draws to foul. Find a Linville bit the line for two. Number's free throw is, is up and good. His first points of the ball game. Second one up and in as well. Subbing into the ball game from Madison Southern. Number 35, Stacy Burns. Look at the back door again. Get out there and double that. Dribbles out of it. Rebound comes down to 32. Napier, they get it up top. Burns had it, hands it off. Limbo with the drive, just couldn't get the shot to fall, but he would be to the line for two shots. 2.43 left in the ball game. Shot is, the free throw is no good. Second free throw is up and good. East gets it up court, looking around that offense. Kicks out for the three. Rebound comes down to number 12, Kidwell. He gets it over to Tyler Apture, looking to run. Apture drives it to the lane for the layup. 
It's good, and he draws to foul. Tyler will be at the line for one free throw. Little discussion going on with the Eagle sideline. Official timeout. Attention, ladies and gentlemen, with the last basket, Tyler Adsher has joined the 1,000 point club here at Manchester. With that? With that basket, Tyler Epster has joined a thousand point club at Madison Southern High School. He calls for his family to join him on the floor. Congratulations, Tyler, and joined the 1,000 Point Club at Madison Southern. As Tyler will now try to make it 1,001 with this free throw attempt. He throws up and it is good. And then we will number 40, Clayton Barn replaces Exeter. Number 40, Clayton Barn enters the ball game, replacing 23, Tyler Absher. We take it down to 212 to go in the ball game. 63 to 46, east on top. Never anything good about getting getting a loss like this, been down double digits late in the ball game. There is a good thing, it is getting young players some varsity minutes. That's what Southern's been able to do right now is get some quality minutes for some of the younger players. Two minutes exactly remain. Southern brings this ball up floor. Thirty-five. That's Stacy Burns off the bench for a three. Three-point basket for Burns. Lead is sixteen. Unfortunately, just a minute thirty-eight to go. Ball out of bounds. Ball's out of bounds off Clayton Barnes. He's just ball. 55, Nick Hume enters the ball game for Madison Southern. Nice steal from 20. Limble with the steal, gets it back. Misses the shot, gets his own offensive rebound, misses again. Comes down to number 40. Clayton Barnes with the basket. Minute 15 left. This second team is showing no, no lay down. They're fighting, trying to get this game to under 10. That's drive and take from Stacy Burns. Knocked out of bounds. Belongs to Madison Southern. Got too far underneath the basket with that one. Didn't have nowhere to go with it. Threw it away. Nice hustle and effort by Kidwell to get back, not to allow the layup. If you're Coach Butcher and Coach Steph, you have to be happy with the way he got back, not allowing the layup. Just no give up at all in this game. Puts 21 at the line, though, for two. He hits the first. Also, 
Shot is up and it falls through. Looks like it's the ball into Kidwell. He brings it up the floor. 55 seconds remain in this ball game. Thirty-five burns for the three is off the front iron. Rebound comes down to Linville. Up no good. Linville gets his own miss. Back out to Kidwell. Counter Kidwell with the jumper from the elbow is good. Basket by Kidwell. His third point of the ball game. 67-53, 24 seconds remain. Clayton Barnes with the ball. Thought he was going to run like the point guard, but thought better of it. Gave it up. Long three was missed. Rebound it back in. Rebound by Kidwell. Gets the basket and gets one. The number 44 is first 67-55 now. But only eight seconds remain. Shot was up and no good. Nice heart and effort by this Southern second team to cut the lead down to 12. What was once a 20 plus point lead got cut to 12. Final score 67 to 55, East Jessman on top. It's time to announce our Renfro paint collision player of the ball game. And no surprise, it's going to be the thousand point man, Tyler Absher. It's Tyler Fisher with 17th and joins the exclusive thousand point club at Mason Southern High School. So for the last time, the final score was 67-55. And we will leave you until next time for Mesa Southern High School. This is Donald Foster signing off for Mesa County School Sports Television. We'll see you down the road. Good night. Okay, are you tired of stepping into that shower and risking serious injury? Well, no more. Check out Premier Home Care's walk-in shower systems. Come by Premier Home Care and let them show you how easy it is to install a brand new walk-in shower system. Don't risk injury anymore. Get a walk-in shower system from Premier Home Care. Thanks to our great sponsors, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Gobel in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Renfro's Paint and Collision in Richmond and Berea, Eastside Community Church, Richmond, Premier Home Care and Premier Rehab, Guardian Bank, Hopper's Jewelry, Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, Richmond, WKYT.com, Berea Online, Richmond Tourism, and the Richmond Chamber of Commerce. you to watch Madison County School Sports Television. Hey everybody, do you know that Richmond Kentucky Tourism now has an iPhone app? Go to richmondkytourism.com to download yours today. You know, fans, when we were uh, actually doing a ball game, Randy and I talked a lot of times about how important rebounding, turnovers, and free throw shooting 
how important those three things are. And uh, what we thought we'd do today is show you the free throw shooting part is really important. We always say on the, on the air, free throws, you got to make them. Why? Because they're free. They're free. So they named them that for a reason. So we're going to do a little uh, free throw shooting competition, best out of five between Randy and I. And we'll just show you how easy free throws are to make. So as you can see, Randy, they are free. What's so hard about free throws? Come on, boys and girls, hit your free throws. You'll win the game. Celebrate the holidays through the end of January 2013 at Davenport Custom Guitars, 807 East Main Street in Richmond. Pick up your strings, pedals, straps, picks, and more. Better yet, let Davenport Custom Guitars custom build your next Telecaster or Stratocaster. Need repairs? How about refins? They do that too. Need aged guitar parts? Well, they have them too. Introducing Sickline Aged Guitar Parts at Davenport Custom Guitars. Celebrate the holidays through the end of January 2013 at Davenport Custom Guitars, 807 East Main Street in Richmond. Twenty-four hours, seven days a week, twenty-four-seven. Madison County School Sports. Com. Premier Rehab specializes in orthopedic physical therapy for pain and injuries from sports, work, and automobile accidents. And they specialize in rehabilitation following orthopedic surgery including the shoulder, knee, ankle, and spine. And they provide expert personalized care that produces outstanding results. All therapists have a minimum of 10 years experience. Premier Rehab is the only locally owned rehabilitation agency in Richmond. And in 2012, the people of Madison County voted Premier Rehab as the best outpatient physical therapy clinic in Madison County. So when you need physical therapy, it's always your choice where you go for therapy. Choose a local company staffed with hometown professionals. Choose Premier Rehab, located at 370 Highland Park Drive, Suite 1. Premier Rehab Services. Hey everybody, be a friend of Madison County School Sports Television on Facebook. MCS TV on Facebook. Log on and like us now.